Now, as we have seen in the previous chapter, sometimes one function is not enough to solve problems. So we have to use combination of functions in order to resolve the situation that your worksheet is demanding from us. So for example, in sheet number P2, other column H, says here that if the person is more than 24 months in the company, he or she gets an allowance of 500 times the number of months. Otherwise, it's 250 times the number of months. So it means that if you are more than 24 months, what you will get is 500 for each month that you have been with the company. And that means we have to do some multiplication inside the if statement. So we could say something like if, open parenthesis, our logical test is that if the person is more than 24 months, so that's going to be B2, is more than 24, comma, then the calculation would be 500 multiply to the number of months. And that is again cell B2. What we saw here is that you could create mathematical equations inside logical statements just like what we did right now. 500 multiply to B2, comma. If it's not going to be that calculation, then the calculation would be 250 multiply to the number of months, which is again cell B2. Close. Enter. And you have this answer. Double click to get the rest. So as you could see, we completed the three parts of a logical statement. If B2 is more than 24, that's the logical test. 500 times B2, that's going to be the value if true. Then it's going to be 250 times B2 if the value is false. Note how I used the cell more than one times, B2. And I did not use 500 times 112 because the number of months varies per person. So I have to get the cell that determines or tells us the number of months. Enter. Let's have another one. In sheet P2 of that file, the next one says for drug test under column K, if the employee's last name begins with the letter L, then indicate here for drug test otherwise just leave blank all right so i'm going to hide some of these columns to make it easy to see there you go now let's begin if the employee's last name begins with the letter l so it means we have to get the last name of the person which is already at the beginning of cell a2 but you only need the first letter so meaning we have to extract the first letter out of cell A2. And I hope you still remember how to extract characters from a certain cell. That is the job of the function left. Open parenthesis again because this is another function. Going back, we need the text that would be cell A2, comma, the number of characters how many characters from the left are we going to get so we want to get the first letter so we want to get one character only and since left ends here nothing follows in the argument as you could see left is as you can remember as well is text and the number of characters and it should end right there is equal to we're back to creating the logical statement is equal to the letter L we need to put quotes because L is a letter comma the comment would be for drug test comma or else leave blank so you don't literally leave blank we have to put something here something like a placeholder to tell Excel that yes you are really indicating a blank for an answer and that would be quotes without anything in between nothing quote quote we are done close so just to recap what we said here is that if the first letter of cell a2 
is equal to the letter L. And that comprises the logical statement. Then the answer would be for drug test. Otherwise, no answer. Just leave it blank. Enter. And don't get surprised that there's no answer here, that Excel will show nothing because our first example is Kathleen Browning and that person does not satisfy the condition. Therefore, Excel will display blank as what we indicated. Double click, scroll down, and there we have some people affected by the Ford drug test. We have Dana Lang and Gary Long, their first letter of their first name is the letter L therefore Excel indicates that they are for drug tests because that's what our condition is if left of A2 1 is equal to the letter L then for drug test otherwise empty as you could see sometimes you have to combine functions in order to achieve your goals